Hello everyone, I'm CounterSearch, and this is my How to Install Shrink High video with Windows 10. <laughs> A video long overdue, I know, I, I, I apologize, but before I get off on a tangent on that, um, this video was just going to be dedicated to me showing you how to get the game and uh, running for you. So, I'm going to go ahead and in the video there's going to be two links. One link is going to be to the Shrink High zip file and then the other link is going to be to this web, uh, to the RPG Maker website right here. We're going to start off here and we're going to click RPG Maker VX because that is what the game runs on. So go ahead and scroll down here and hit this download now button. Then what's going to happen is um, this is going to open up over here. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you right now. Um, you are going to want um, WinZip uh, for, uh, for this. If you do not have WinZip, I suggest that you just Google search WinZip, download that, and it'll help you. Um, with uh, the download of this game. So, I already, uh, the problems I've been running into is that since I already have a copy of the game, I didn't want to like corrupt any files, so I guess that's kind of why it's taken this long, but that and I just haven't got around to it. So, I, I have my saves backed up just in case anything goes wrong, but I, uh, I already checked earlier and uh, I should be okay. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, now what you're going to want to do is, this is the file right here that we just downloaded. You're going to want to show in folder. That's what I clicked just now, the show in folder. So here it is right here. Right click on this, and, and since you have WinZip, you should hit the extract files right here. Um, this is a, this is a extraction and paths option. I think it's opening up for me because, I, like I said, I already have a um, copy of the game. But if this, so if this doesn't open for you, then that's fine. If it does, then um, just do what I'm doing right here. So I made a folder on my desktop that I, uh, I'm going to put this in. So I'm going to leave it right here, extract and replace files, and then hit OK. All right. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to go over here to the folder that you put it in. Uh, just put it like in whatever folder that you can. And we're going to go ahead and hit the setup application. It's going to ask your computer if you want to make changes. Go ahead and say yes. I don't know if my uh, video caught that. If it did, great. If it didn't, then uh, yeah, you know what to do. Just hit the yes button. All right, so now we're going to click next. Right here is where the RPG Maker um, files are going to be stored. Um, it's going to be in your, like, your C. And then from there, it'll tell you uh, where to go. So uh, remember that, just in case you run into any uh, kinks, which you shouldn't, but you know, just in case. So now that we've got that, we're going to go ahead and hit install. And then hit finish. Cool. All right. So that's how you get the RPG Maker for it. And the next thing we're going to do is going to go over here and download the game itself. You will also need a WinZip for this to open the game and extract its files. So I guess we're going to give it a few seconds and it'll go ahead and um, show in folder when it's done. So yeah, again, I apologize this video took so long. I've just been busy and worried that one, things wouldn't go well, or two, actually, generally just things wouldn't go well. I was afraid that I was going to like corrupt my game and or lose my save files. So that didn't happen, so that's great. So what I'm showing you right now should be uh, foolproof for downloading the game. And if only it didn't take this long, am I right? Well, internet speed's very, mine's decent, so I figured I can show you guys um, how I'm downloading it right here. I didn't want to, like, skip any steps. All right, cool. So now that we have it downloaded, shown folder right here, it's going to be uh, downloads. 
Um, this one right here that's highlighted, we're going to go ahead and click Extract Files again. And um, this uh, right here is the destination uh, path that it's like automatically choosing. But you can, of course, you can always move it to somewhere else. Like it, let's say if you're like me, I like to organize folders instead of like keeping things in download. I kind of want to make my own uh, shrink high folders. So I click right here and it's going to be sent to this uh, shrink high 2 folder right here. And I'm going to leave it right here on the update mode and then hit OK. Again, if this doesn't show up for you, then that probably just means that this is your first time downloading the game and you already don't have it on file. So um, if that's a kink in your plan, then uh, don't worry about it. Alright, so now I'm going to go over here, hit shrink high, and here is the uh, game. I'll go ahead and uh, open up the mixer because the game starts off uh, pretty loud, so I don't want to hurt your uh, you guys' ears when I launch it, so... Okay, cool. I already have it muted. Cool. Alright, so open the game. By the way, I already have it set to uh, full screen. I don't think it does that automatically, but uh, for you guys who want to play this game in uh, full screen, basically um, hit F1, and I don't know if y'all can see this. Hopefully you can, but if, if you hit F1, there's under uh, Game Properties General, um, click the icon that says launch in the full screen so that's how that gets done and um, yeah here's the game so um, obviously it starts off brand new so if you already have a copy of the game like I do this is basically like your 2.0 means that save files won't carry over although um, Safe files, I'm sure, can carry over uh, whenever you uh, make them. So, if you have like previous safe files, or if you have safe files that are shared with you that you want to like get in your game, I'm pretty sure that they can carry over like that. So, yeah, that is how it is done, my friends. Um, oh, one more thing I want to address. Um, before I uh, end the video is if you run into any like script errors like especially for CG scenes or like or yeah basically like all animation uh, CG scenes if you run into like a script error and the game um, crashes like mine did originally um, what I did to fix that is I went into graphics folder and I took this pictures folder and I moved it over here in front with audio and graphics. Um, I, I, I ran the game um, ahead of time to make sure that that wasn't a problem. And it, it wasn't. So um, if you can run the game perfectly without having to move the pictures folder up, then that's okay. If not, that's what I know I did to fix that. So uh, that's another piece of advice that I got right there. Anyways, um, that's all I got. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions about how to download or anything like that. And if you need the Japanese version, I, I, I assume that you just need the English version. But hey, beggars can't be choosers or something like that. Actually, that's the wrong expression. My bad. If you need the Japanese version, let me just cut to the chase. Um, let me know, and then I'll fish for a link for it online somewhere. But in the meantime, this is how you install uh, Shrinkai and the RPG Va Maker VX uh, with Windows 10. So, yeah, there we go. Thank you, everyone, for watching.